a very good morning to all my students i hope all are fine at home today i will begin with grammar book and i will take lesson 11 verb previously in standard 2 you all have studied about action words what are action words all those words which shows action so these are also known as verbs let us understand with the use of few examples read the following sentences the cheetah ran behind the deer the moon revolves around the earth the boy is eating an apple rania wrote a letter to her father so students you can see the words like ran revolves is eating and wrote these words show the action being performed by different people or things so the action words are known as verbs now they are all action words or doing words we also call them as verbs now let us all define verb number 1 verbs are words that show what the subject does says has or is you should also remember students a verb is an important part of a sentence without verb a sentence cannot be complete third point a verb is a word which is used to express a certain action done by somebody or something it is also called a doing word for example when i say he goes to the circus what happens in this sentence somebody is going somewhere that boy is going to the circus what action he is performing he is going to the circus second sentence neha eats fruits every day in this sentence also what's the action action is to eat fruits every day who eats fruits every day neha eats fruits every day so goes and eats they are all action words they are also known as verbs now let's see another important quality of a verb that is also a verb is also used to tell us the state or condition of something or somebody it also tell us about the condition of a person or a thing for example i am very happy today what is the condition of the state of the mind that i am very happy today i am using am here and am is linking with i so it is showing the state of mind of a particular person second sentence we are late for the circus so when we use we we use r with we we are linking r with we so it is telling you the condition or of something what is the condition that we are late for the circus these are the examples which tells you the state or condition of somebody or something now read the following sentences i am reading a book raja is playing football third sentence the kids are dancing on the stage now students all those words which are being highlighted like am is are what are they doing these three words are helping the main verbs what are the main verbs like reading playing and dancing they are the main verbs okay they are helping the subject to complete the action so the use of these words like am is are they are all helping the main verb to give it a complete meaning or to make it a complete sense these words which i have read like am is an are they are known as helping verbs why they are called helping verbs because they help the main verb to give it a complete meaning to give it a complete sense 
let's now understand more about the helping words or helping verbs so we all know now verbs are action words so there are some verbs which are called as being words now let us see what are being words being words are also known as helping words or we can call them as helping verbs so they are also called linking words or linking verbs also the examples of being verbs or helping verbs or linking verbs they are am is are was will be being been has have had now one by one i will explain the use of am is are was where how when where to use in a sentence let's see i have you used few examples using am is an a students you should remember the use of am the a word am is always used with i for example when i say first example i am a boy remember students that am is always used with i only you cannot write i a boy you have to write am that's a helping verb which is helping to give it a complete sense secondly we will take the use of is few examples i have given like she is a teacher he is a singer it is a book even here i have written this is a tree that is a house all those words or subjects i am talking about they are all singular she is one girl or woman he can be a boy or a man it can be a thing a single thing even this and that we are pointing on a particular thing so they are all singular nouns remember students whenever we use is it will always used with singular noun singular word okay now the use of are about are let's see the examples the children are happy here you can see i am using the word are the helping verb are with a plural noun no, we don't use singular noun like the child are happy if i say the child are happy it will be a wrong sentence so we should say the children are happy sara and tia are good friends sara and tia are two people two girls so we have to use are if i write sara and tia is good friends it will be wrong again when i say they are laughing these are pencils those are houses so the word are the helping of are is always used with plural words plural nouns okay now let us see we have to remember some important points now we use am with i we use is with he she it singular nouns okay also we use are are is used with you we they and also plural nouns also students apart from the use of the helping verbs like am is and are there are few more helping verbs which are frequently used as being verbs or linking verbs or you can say helping verbs they are was and were so let's see the use of was you should remember was is the past tense form of am and is and the word helping verb were is the past tense form of are when i use few examples like i was tired was is the past tense form of am okay and when i say it was very sunny yesterday 
so the use of helping verbs like was they are they are differently used and they are the past tense form of is or am okay now next example the clowns were colorful and funny they were eating together the usage of the helping verb were is the past tense form of are apart from the helping verbs like am is an are the helping verbs like was and were they are the frequently used helping verbs in the daily life for today students you will all revise what is verb and how do the function even try to practice to make sentences using is am are was and were that's all for today students practice it we will meet in the next class thank you